Hi everyone. Hope everybody's having a great day today. Um, after watching some of Jonathan Kleck's videos and meditating and thinking about, well, thinking and talking to God all day, he has shown me some things too just uh, around here. So I wanted to share that stuff with you guys. But this is what it's based off from is Isaiah 29, 16. And that says, Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not. Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding. So I've learned that the key of David is the key of knowledge and you're supposed to turn stuff upside down if you want to know the what's going on, who really runs this place, right? So if you guys have watched any of Jonathan Kleck's stuff, that he, uh, we're being like uh, overruled or underruled actually by huge bugs. They're on everything. They're on all the building decorate well, not all of it but a lot of the old time building decorations and anything that has the artwork in it it's all like two bugs or two eyes and the mandibles and creepy looking bugs like a locust face or a june bug face or a grasshopper face you know stuff like that so turning stuff upside down this was a basic pistol safety pamphlet from 1991 with the michigan signal or sign on there for for that but look turn it upside down oh it looks like a locust or grasshopper head with the hold on I'm shaky right there you got the two eyes you got the jaws coming down the two the pinchers mouth open right there so there's the pinchers, there's that, their eyes. That's pretty obvious. And I haven't even looked at any of the other states, but I would not be surprised if they're not all, like, you know, <laughs> I'm sure they're bugs. And then, so here's another thing, you know, the, when you see these, well, the circle being broken. Um, so, okay, put that upside down. And just the artwork on that, you got like the upside down virgin here in the hole. You got the mandibles coming down, coming down on each side, the eyes. It's like, uh, you can see that's bug related. At least I can. Here was another thing. This is uh, Sticks Paradise, one of their older, what year was that? I don't even know. 70s, but it doesn't matter. Um, so this artwork on the front of this, which one's better, the front or the back? This one probably. Okay. Um, now I'm going to have to use my magnifying for glass for this, so you guys can see it. So I'm not going to be able to point anything out. I'm going to try to get as close as I can. Um, so this thing in the middle right here. Let's see if I can. I don't know. That's not working very good at all. You guys could pull this up on your computer maybe and zoom in on it. You'd be able to see what I'm talking about. In the middle here, there's like these, like the, it looks like the jaws of the Predator thing with Schwarzenegger's movie, Predator. Um, I can't. Got the pinchers coming out. Okay, but this is the right side up here. Let's turn it upside down. You'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Can you see the pinchers? And then down here on these side things, um, there are pictures of, there's a dragon right there. There's stuff up on these other 
little ones up here, but I can't zoom in close enough on them to see. And then on the other side here, there's a something with horns coming out the side of its head and looks like a, I don't know, Baphomet or something. So that was that was the artwork of that. So we know that that's satanic, and that was satanic, and that's got bug related. Let's see this. Okay, look at that, red man. Okay, you guys are probably going to see this right away. Turn it upside down. Look at that handsome fella. That's who's ruling over you. See him? His mouth turns into the eyes. The little wrinkles in his lip turns into the nose. And then the nose looks like it's his throat going down. He's got the where the eyes are, you know, above that. That's the shoulders and that's the body down there. But that is, uh, and then up top, there's the little horns coming out of his head. A yellow one and a red one. So that... That's what I wanted to show you guys today so far. And oh, this. Now, this one's kind of near and dear to me. I've done videos on this before. And uh, you know that the, in the Vatican, how the reptile, the serpent, and the dead lamb, they're always teasing everybody with the dead lamb and everybody. And I take this one. This one was probably meant for me here. Now, on the dog face, do you see the serpent coming out of there? And then you see the sheep with the tongue? Here's the jaws of the serpent, the teeth coming out for a bite. The other side of that, here's the sheep head right here, the eye, and then here's the tongue sticking out. So that just proves to me that uh, Jonathan Clack is absolutely <laughs> right about this stuff. And if you guys want to change this world, I say let's start turning everything upside down and exposing all of their uh shenanigans that they got going on so there you go that's in both that they tease us we're dead sheep dead sheep with our tongue sticking out they put it in front of us all the time beware of god hmm. okay well you guys have a great day and I'm sure I'll be seeing more things. <laughs> Praise the Lord. If you're not saved, make sure to get saved by Jesus. Just tell Jesus that, just to, just tell him you believe in him, that he died on the cross and came back to life for the three days and just say, please save me, Father. Get me out of this system. Turn me right side up so I can see. I want to be able to see. Please make me see, Father. Thank you, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. See you, love you, bye.